play versus you guys in my team and make it into a series. I'll play two or three games against you guys and edit it down in a one video. I posted this idea on my Instagram story yesterday and you guys loved it so yeah, that's what we're rolling with today. The guys I'm playing against today were two of the first people to hit me up when they saw I was playing versus subs and first up we got Hude and I'm actually going to put his Instagram in the description if you guys want to follow him because he's a cool dude. But yeah, if you're interested in playing against me, just let me know on Instagram, at cpthedoc, or just comment on this video, and we'll run it up sometime soon. But for now, you guys sit back, relax, and enjoy this gameplay versus Hude, who's honestly one of the best my team players I know. Okay, so even though this video just started, I already have a fun fact for you guys. This is the fourth time I've played against Hude. Me and him have matched up three times in the past, and each of those three games have been pretty intense, so you guys are in for a good one right here. But yeah, dating back to our very first matchup in NBA 2K19, Hude actually had me down by double digits in the fourth quarter, but y'all know me. I came back and won that game, all capped off by a buzzer beater from Galaxy Opal Mellow. So yeah, even though I won my first matchup with Hude, I already knew he was a pretty good player because in NBA 2K19, I went 12-0 pretty much every month, I rarely lost a game, and Hude was able to hang with me, and had he not made a couple mistakes in the fourth quarter, he actually could have beaten me. So yeah, game number two was more of the same, I was only up by like two or three at the end of the third quarter, but then I pulled away and ended up winning that game by like 25 points, so yeah the final score looked bad, but he really only played one bad quarter, so I consider that a pretty good game. And in our most recent matchup, it was on one of my previous My Team vs. Subscribers streams, he actually lost by like 10 or 12 points to me, and it was kind of an ugly game. We weren't shooting very well, I was up by like 10 to 12 points the whole time, and I ended up winning by about that same margin, so even though it wasn't a super close game, it wasn't really a blowout either, so... Hude is pretty much hung with me in every single game I've played against him. And like Hude says, it usually comes down to one really good quarter from me or one really bad quarter from him. And as you guys can see, it's the end of the first quarter and he's up by four points. So I gotta step up my game. But I always have the mentality. If I can go in a halftime or the end of the first quarter, only down by like two or three points, I still have a chance to win in the end. Right here, Nice pass to David Robinson to tie the game at 16. And the second quarter is really where I pulled away in this game. Hude plays some pretty good defense. He's played against me in the past, so he knows how I'm going to play. I know how he's going to play. So it's kind of like a chess match whenever I go up against him. It really comes down to forcing turnovers, forcing him to make bad decisions. And right here, I fake the double team with Bull Bull, get back just in time to pick off the pass, and just like that, we're running the fast break. That's now 10 unanswered points. Even though we are down 16 to 12, we got things turned around pretty quickly. Now right here, for some reason, my CPU Bull Bull switches on a Turkaloo, so I stay in the passing lanes. He was anticipating the double team by Lonzo, but I stayed in position and picked off the pass, and just like that, another easy two points in transition. Right here, I get a little bit aggressive. I double team Hito Turkaloo, I force him to scramble and move the ball, and right when he thinks he has an easy pass, I switch to Dominique, I pick it off, and there's another two points. And sequences like those two you just saw are why I think I'm a pretty good 2K player. Really, you can score as many points as you want to, but if you can get stops on defense, if you can force your opponent into making mistakes, you're gonna be alright. And even though he just scored, his big man doesn't get back in the paint, and Lonzo Ball throws it down, and we're up by double digits just like that. Right here, he leaves Arsdale wide open, and even though he misses, he doesn't check Lonzo, who greens the three to give us our biggest lead of the game. So even though he had a bad first quarter, we're beginning to pull away. We're getting stops, and right here, we get another one. Lonzo picks off the pass. I don't go for the bucket just yet. I patiently move the ball, and we find Tim Duncan for a deep two. I wish he could have, you know, stood behind the three-point line, but it's all good. We're up by 9 at the beginning of the second half, and yeah, we're going to see if we can continue pulling away because that was a pretty good second quarter we had. Right here, 
I notice he's playing some off-ball defense, so I feed the ball to David Robinson, and we go for the easy two on this beautiful right-handed hook off the glass. So just like that, we're up by 11, and for some reason, he decides to dribble the ball right into Dick Van Arsdale, and Arsdale says, you know what, let me take this myself. Let me get my first points of the game. And just like that, we go up by 13. Next time down the court, I leave RJ Barrett open, he clanks the three, and we're back on the fast break again. I got Bull Bull running down the middle, and just like that, the fans are on their feet, and we have our biggest lead of the game. He has a chance to cut the lead down to 8, but Hakeem grabs the miss and says, you know what, I'm going to take it end to end, coast to coast. I bet you guys have never heard of that. Hakeem grabbing the board and going coast to coast like a guard. So as you guys can see, the game is still relatively close. It's not a blowout just yet, but I'm trying to make plays to make it a blowout. Right here, Gilbert Arenas gets the mismatch, and with that beautiful quick release, he drains the three in the face of Elvin Hayes. Now right there, I got my ass kicked. I was trying to bait the steal. Didn't really work out, but hey, we're still moving the ball. Still getting good looks. I go for the two for one with Akeem, and he knocks down the super deep three to put us up by 14. It's the end of the quarter, and right here I make a beautiful defensive play. Look how I fake the double team with Chris Mullen. Get back in position to pick off the pass just in time. And now we're up by 16. High IQ plays, ladies and gentlemen. We are up big, and even though the game isn't necessarily over yet, every time he gets a bucket, I answer back. And this ended up being like a 9 to 13 point game the entire time. Whenever he would score, I would answer right back. Right here he hits a step back to make it a 9 point game with 2 minutes left, but y'all already know I'm answering back. Lonzo ball to Josh Smith for the easy jump shot, and we're back up by double digits, baby. Right here, I get another passing lane steal, we get another fast break, and yeah, from that point on, the game was pretty much over. He came within 9 points, he had a pretty good chance, and we led by as much as 17 in the 4th quarter, but hey, we came away with a 14 point win in me and Houday's 4th all-time matchup. I am 4-0 all-time against Houday. In this game, we were led by Akeem, who had 13 points, Lonzo added 11, Dr. J added 10, and really, this was just a great team effort. I mean, we had a lot of different guys chip in and score, and hey, we'll take it. Very first win in the video in this Doc vs. Subscribers series. Up next, in Doc vs. Subscribers Episode 1, we have Cooper, or Al Finesse, and this is another guy I've actually played against before twice, and our two matchups in the past actually have a pretty funny backstory, which I'll get to in about 30 seconds if you guys can be patient, but looking at his team, he has a pretty solid team, nothing spectacular, but still pretty good. He has the Opal Steph Curry and a bunch of pink diamonds, and if any of you guys are going to talk some crap and be like, Doc, your team is so much better, Doc, this is a complete mismatch, just know I really don't care what your team looks like. If you guys challenge me, I'll take your challenge no matter what, no matter if your team is better than mine or worse than mine. I just enjoy playing versus subs, it's a cool way to connect with you guys, so like I said at the beginning of the video, if any of you guys want to challenge me, I'll take your challenge. Just DM me on Instagram or comment on this video. Okay, so Cooper has a friend named Garrett who's also subscribed to my channel, so shout out to Garrett, I know you're watching this. And Garrett told Cooper about me, he was like, Hey, I know this guy who plays my team, he's really good. And Cooper was like, I bet I can beat him. I'm going to challenge him to a game. So, next thing you know, out of nowhere, Cooper shows up in my DMs and is like, Hey, if I beat you in my team, you better give me a gift card. And I was like, what? I don't even know you. But then, Garrett told me that Cooper wasn't all that good, so I was like, you know what? I'll play against him. I'll agree to his challenge, I'll give him the gift card if he beats me, and yeah. We'll go at it from there. So me and Cooper match up. He gets off to a really good start in the first game we play. He's up like 9-3. to three, And he's getting cocky, man. He's feeling it. But next thing you know, I lock in on defense, pull away, end up winning the game by like 50 points. He was like, what? What was that? I was lagging, man. I was lagging in that game. So we rematch. I go up like 20 in the first quarter. 
and he quits. So, I wouldn't say Cooper's a bad player, but he bit off a little bit more than he could chew, and thankfully, I didn't have to give him that gift card. So yeah, this is our first matchup since playing for the gift card, and I got off to a pretty good start. At this point, I've only given up 7 points in the first quarter, and I'm really kicking his ass. Right here, I nail a deep 3 with Gilbert Arenas, and yeah. This is looking much different than my matchup versus Huday. Huday was in the lead at the end of the first quarter, and I mean, I guess Huday and Cooper have a tiny similarity. I mean, Cooper was up 3-0, so he did have a lead, but yeah, it wasn't much of a lead. It evaporated in like 30 seconds, and it's looking like we're about to go up even bigger at the end of the first quarter. I mean, it's 22-7, and as you guys have seen so far, I've really been attacking this mismatch with Rudy Gay. Me having David Robinson at the 5, and Hakeem Olajuwon at the 4, it's just a walking mismatch. No matter what, I'm able to get a bucket, because David Robinson and Hakeem, they can space the floor and shoot, but they're also amazing scorers in the paint, so yeah, my team is pretty much full of walking mismatches, and yeah, not only are they mismatches on offense, they're mismatches on defense too. Look at Hakeem beasting and feasting. We're going to the free throw line for another two. Hakeem's off to a great start in this game. And right here, even though Hakeem can shoot the three, he has a mismatch, man. He's being guarded by Zach Randolph. And y'all know Zach Randolph is slow. Hakeem takes it to the hole, dunks it over Wilt, and we're up 30 to nine. I told you guys, defense is the key. If you want to pull away in close games, you gotta lock up on defense, but, I mean, in this game, there really is no key. I was kind of just dominating from the start. I mean, if you give up 9 points in the first, what, like, 6 or 7 minutes of a game, you're gonna be alright. And yeah, if you have a mismatch like this, you're gonna be alright. No matter who is guarding Hakeem Olajuwon, it's a walking mismatch you guys have seen. Whenever I give the ball to Akeem, it's a guaranteed bucket. I mean, look at this. He tried to put Ben Simmons on Akeem, and I hit him with the hook. Next possession, we come back down the court. I feed the ball to Elijah one again, and even though he manages to get a contest on the hook, Akeem is just unstoppable. Akeem's off to an amazing start, and you know what? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Elijah one has the ball again. Hakeem gets the bucket. He has 24 points. He's outscoring the entire other team by himself. And right here, he says, you know what? I'm going to leave Tim Duncan open, and Tim Duncan makes him pay. Everybody on my team can shoot, even Chris Mullen. And even though he misses the open three, it's all good because Lonzo gets it back, and he nails it himself. So we're up 44 to 18. But trust me, guys, it's not over yet. He tries to pull out the Hail Mary. And I get an easy two as a result of him just throwing a silly pass. So man, we're up 28. Can it get worse than this? There's no way. Oh, wait a second. Step back, body jack. At halftime, we're up by 31. That's crazy, man. Imagine being up 31 at halftime. 18 points allowed in the first half and A. You guys know we're locking up even more. I'm calling the ISO. The lane's wide open, baby! Hakeem gets right to the rim. And right here, he overhelps, leaves Tim Duncan wide open. We're getting whatever we want in the paint. Right here, I trick him into getting the steal. And Dr. J all the way. We're up by 41, man. I almost got the inbound steal, but it didn't matter because he threw up a garbage shot anyway. Dr. J to the rim again, and one! Man, so we are tripling his score. It is 66-22. For this game to be tied, you'd have to multiply his score by three. Kobe nails a three to give us 69 points. Nice. So I was thinking I shouldn't score the rest of the game because I have 69, but I couldn't help myself. Hakeem Elijah won once again, and we're actually on pace to score 40 with Hakeem. Kobe greens the open three. I told you guys, I've learned his release, but I don't want to shoot too much with Kobe. Hakeem says, let me get in on the fun too. Hakeem knocks down the three, 
Hakeem gets some free throws and he's about to hit 40 points already. This free throw right here gives him 39, but Hakeem said, I need to get 40 points on a bang. He rejects the screen. Ooh, man! He greens the fadeaway three. That's crazy, man. So we're up big. Dominique Wilkins puts us up 51. But sadly, spoiler alert, we only win the game by 48. <sighs> man. It's the great American tragedy. We only won the game by 48 points. We deserve the 50 point win, but hey, Hakeem drops 44 on 67% shooting. Kobe shoots perfect from downtown. Dr. J adds 8 points, and just like the first game I played, very good team effort. A lot of guys chipped in, and a lot of guys helped us get the win. Yeah, two great wins, and if you guys want to play me, just let me know, and I'll be back again soon.